Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I finally get to get started on my truck camper build out for the new rig. And this is gonna be video one of probably very many more to come, but this to me is the most important. It's the bed platform and it's gonna kind of what sets the tone for everything else that goes in the back of that truck. So I'm gonna try to make this build as absolutely simple as possible, no fancy joinery. I might use a couple of pocket hole screws, but if I do, you guys can go buy a Craig jig at Home Depot or Lowe's for literally 10 bucks. They're very, very useful. Even if you don't have one, I recommend still going to get one. But at the end of this video, I will go over all the dimensions of the bed and how I chose the length and the width. But just to get started, guys, I've got to build the carcass of this bed platform. And to do that, I went out last night and I bought seven two by three by eight pieces of lumber. Extremely cheap now, thank goodness. But this is what I'm going to be using for the carcass of the bed frame. So I'm gonna get all these cut to length that I need to begin to build that carcass. And then I'll kind of walk you through the whole process of how I'm going to build it. And again, guys, it's not gonna be anything crazy. Basically kind of using the same footprint as my last truck. The wiring is gonna be very easy for the lights I'm gonna put on the outside. Stick around and I will kind of walk you through every single step of the way and show you the final product. So first things first, I gotta get these cut to length. Okay, so easy enough. I've got pretty much all of the pieces, the main pieces cut, laid out so I don't get them all mixed up. So we got the long sides, we've got the connector pieces that are gonna go from left to right, and then we've got the risers that are going to make the bed the height that I want it. But I'm just gonna get these things put together and then it'll start to kind of flow and hopefully you'll, you'll get the idea. But I just like to get everything cut and to keep it in groups because it's easy to mix some of these pieces up and then your bed ends up looking like a trapezoid. So follow me along and I'll show you how to put this thing together. Okay, now this is the only tool that you probably might not have. I don't know. This is a Craig jig, but they make a lot of different models for this particular jig. And you can get one at Home Depot for 20 bucks. This one's a little extravagant, but I use it all the time and it's a fantastic tool. But I'm going to put pocket hole screws and all of the risers that are going to go along the length of my bed. So that's what this little guy is for. Here's the carcass of the bed platform. I did have to go in and cut out the length of this piece that I built because I totally forgot about the wheel well. So I had to cut that out and put a couple more pieces of bracing along here. But I have this scooted back as far as I can get. And I actually have this bed at 30 inches wide. So it's wider than my last setup. My last setup was 27 inches wide. But I figured new truck, let's give it a little bit more width and a little bit more comfiness to my sleep. I am probably gonna go in and put a little bit more vertical bracing in right here and probably right here. Just cut a little two by four and just put it in here and screw it in just because that's you know where I sit most of the time and it's probably not needed to be honest, but I tend to overcomplicate and over engineer things. So this is the carcass of the bed. Now from here on out, you guys can do whatever you wanna do. You could literally leave it like this if you wanted to. But I'm going to make it a little bit prettier. I'm going to put some little uh, eighth inch hardy board on the inside on the fronts so you can't see underneath the bed. And I'm going to get it all painted up and then we're going to put the, the top on with some hinges. And I'm going to put a small drawer right here. Just about an 18 inch deep drawer. But 
I found that when I get to camp, I'm always needing my electrical cords or even in the morning, maybe my, uh, my jet boil. Instead of having to climb all the way in the back to get that stuff, I'm trying to make a little tiny drawer just up front to where I can simply just pull out the quick items that I need or that I always use the most. So, so again, that's just my method of building this carcass. There's way more simpler methods, but I mean, this is just two by threes and some pocket screws. So folks, I'm gonna actually pull that carcass out. I'm gonna sand it all down and then I'll kind of time lapse you through how I'm gonna make it look presentable, I guess. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got pretty much the the carcass of the bed painted. I've got my little trim pieces put on the inside and I'm starting to put on these little marine lights. This is completely, totally optional, obviously, but I liked having these lights on my last bed because they're not overpowering and they're just the right amount of light. However, I am using red and white lights on this bed instead of my blue and white. Main reason other than it's just a change and red light's supposed to be a little bit easier on your eyes in the dark, so if I don't like them, I can always swap them out, but this is really just straightforward. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the side of these to fish this wire through and then drill two more holes to get these screws into the marine lights. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and show you this one, how easy it is. So I've already, pre I've already got the hole drilled and I'm just going to push the wires through. Now I'm going to get on a smaller drill bit and I'm going to pre-drill a couple of holes to get the bolts through. And these particular marine lights, LED lights, come with their own little tiny little bolts and tiny little lock washers. Push the bolt through and tighten them down. And that's all there is to it. I'll show you what it looks like from behind before I start wiring it all these up because I'm I'm waiting on my white lights. I don't have any of the white ones, so I got to wait on two more white lights. But then I'm gonna show you guys how to wire them all together and how to run the wiring outside of the bed so that I can plug it up to my power station. And that's all it is. So I'm, I've got two more lights to put on, then I'm gonna string them together, wire them together, and make a pigtail to plug into my uh, battery station. And of course, I'll show you folks how to do that. Okay, we're on day three of the platform bed build and I'm pretty much completed. All I have to do is cut the actual top that I'm gonna sleep on and put some hinges on it, but that's pretty straightforward. But I got all of the lights put on. And you know, obviously this might not be something that, that you're interested in. I do like having this ambient light underneath my bed, especially at night, so I don't have to turn on my, my huge overhead bright lights. Let me set the camera on the other side and kind of walk you through the wiring it looks more complicated than it is, I promise. Okay, so this is the inside, and just imagine I've got a light here, 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 and here. And all I did was I took two strands of 16 gauge wire, started that strand at one end of the bed, and ran those two strands all the way down. So I, I didn't have to go in and try to connect all of these lights together and solder and, and just end up having a bunch of solder joints. So I just ran two long strands of wire and then tapped into those wires on each light. At the end of those two 16 gauge wires, I did solder my lead. This is just a little DC cable that's got the, the positive and the negative wire inside this one jacket. I did solder the very ends of, those, of these two wires together to this. This is what's gonna plug into my cabinet eventually. And I soldered together an XT60 pigtail. So this is what I'm going to be using to plug in these lights, which will eventually go to a switch 
and my cabinet. But this is the wiring, complete done. So again, it looks a little more complicated than it actually is just because of all the zip ties and, and you know all that stuff. It's really not that complicated. But this is how I'm going to power these bed lights eventually once this goes into my switch panel on my cabinet. And I did go ahead and install the, the drawer slides here and, and of course on the other side here. And the one thing that I did a little bit different on this bed um, that I didn't on my last bed is that I installed some furniture levelers. Here, here, and here. And my theory is, is that if I ever park somewhere that's a little bit unlevel, I can use these levelers to, you know, you can kind of screw them and it'll raise up the bed. Now I only have them on one side and I did that because this side down here, the far side is going to be against the side of my bed. And I don't find it to be that uncomfortable if I'm rolling into the side of my bed. I find it uncomfortable when I, when I feel like I'm rolling out of my bed, if that makes sense. So that's what, the only reason I put them on the outside of my bed. So if I have to raise it up, if I'm parked on a certain incline or decline, I can raise up the outside of my bed to kind of push me back toward the side of my actual truck bed. I hope that makes sense. But I'm hoping this will help. I don't know, we'll see. If not, I can just unscrew them and take them off and be done with it, but. Okay, so easily the question that I got the most regarding my entire truck camper last year was what kind of mattress did I use? And this is it. All this is is upholstery foam and you can order it in different thicknesses, different widths, different lengths. This particular foam is 36 inches wide, four inches thick by like 96 inches long. So I will have to trim it up and I'm gonna be using an electric carving knife to be the best or the cleanest way to cut this foam. So I'm gonna unroll this, kind of let it sit down. I'm gonna actually grab a chalk line, snap a line, where exactly I want to cut it width wise. And then I'll have to do the same thing for the length wise. But the way that I built my bed, I couldn't order the exact size that I needed. So that's what you're going to have to do if you go with this upholstery foam is you're going to have to cut it to fit your actual bed. But this is all it is. And I And you want to try to keep your knife straight up and down so you don't have a real angled cut, which is kind of the hard part because I got a little bit of a sag here, but we'll see what we can do. There you go. That's how you cut the mattress. Well, gang, this is how I built my bed platform for my little camper. So pretty much the same bed. The only difference is I added this drawer. And again, this is where I'm gonna kind of put all of my main stuff that I use as soon as I get to camp, like my cords, my coffee maker, just things like that. But that's the only different thing that I did. Super happy with it, guys. The first trip out with this thing is gonna to be tomorrow night. So looking really forward to actually sleeping back in my truck camper like I used to a year ago. I think it turned out great. So if you guys have any questions about any of this, please shoot me a comment and I will get back to you and let you know, hopefully with an answer. So here you go. 